Hi, in this video I'm going to go over the snapshot isolation level. And the snapshot isolation level is similar to the serializable. So if, um, if, if you want background information, please look at the serializable video that I have. And um, it'll compare the repeatable read along with the serializable along with the read committed. So that would be a very helpful step before uh, going uh, to watch this snapshot video. Uh, snapshot isolation video. Uh, first off, uh, you actually have to set the database to allow for snapshot isolation, otherwise there will be an error when you try to set this snapshot isolation. Um, so what, what the demo is going to show is um, it, it'll show this series blocking. So what's going to happen is I'm going to run this transaction and as, as I run this transaction I'm going to try to insert a row. So if you remember what serializable is, it doesn't allow for phantom reads and it doesn't allow for dirty reads and it doesn't allow for um, and it does allow for repeatable reads, meaning if you are what whatever you selected within the transaction will be consistent and not alterable by things outside of the transaction. Um, so what's going to happen is when I run this and I try to insert it's going to block other transactions from inserting until this whole transaction finishes and then the other transaction can insert. So that, that's, ha that's the mechanism for serializable to prevent phantom reads. So let me actually let me set up the data here. So you notice um, it's the same thing as the other examples. The name value pairs with a date and an ID. And I'm going to uh, while this delay is here, I'm going to try to insert a row right before the second select statement. And you'll see what happens. It's just going to block uh, as a heads up of what to look for. So I'm going to try to insert and you'll notice it's blocking. This is just running and it won't ex it won't uh, complete this insert transaction until this whole transaction is finished. Uh, because it's marked as serializable. So it's going to wait for about 20 seconds and you'll notice once this finish, this finished here and to show you that the row is inserted, here's the fourth row. So that's what serializable does. Now um, let me reset the data and I'll show you the difference between snapshot and serializable. Snapshot is basically um, it won't block but it'll read the, the, the data that it first read consistently. Uh, so basically it has a temp area somewhere storing the data that it read and instead of rereading the real tables it reads like a temp table. So uh, let me make sure that row is gone here and you'll notice it's these original three rows and I'm going to run the same thing I ran for serializable and I'm going to attempt to do an insert in between uh, be before it reaches the second select statement. And you'll notice I'm, I'm going to do an insert here. Notice this finished right away. It didn't block. And that allows me to uh, delete. But I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm going to do an update. And um, notice it allowed me to do an update. It didn't block. But you'll notice it reads the same exact number of data uh, type uh, values that it read in its first select and to show you that during that time the table was altered you notice I have my fourth row and I did the update so that that is really the difference between snapshot is it has a temp area that it works with uh, which is slightly more expensive but uh, when you think about it lot, lots of times if that's your intention you would you, you might create your own temp table or something like that to store that information and read from it uh, instead of using this snapshot isolation. But if, if there is a purpose for the snapshot isolation, um, then this is what it does. Uh, it doesn't block unlike serializable. And um, I hope uh, that helps you out with uh, understanding the difference between all of these isolation levels. And uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to have all the code here in the about section and in the description section of the uh, video so um, you could download it and uh, experiment with it and uh, ho hopefully learn 
interesting aspects of all of these isolation levels. Uh, thank you for watching.